Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where four toys gather together on Thursdays at four o'clock to talk about the world of J.R. Token and beyond. Enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know the drill, and I hate all of you. Meow. Well, Susie. <sighs> You just keep getting meaner and meaner. But well, that's just part of the charm. <laughs> okay. While well, we're waiting on Leroy and Elena to throw out the review of Captain Marvel, we're gonna say this. Okay. Yeah, I know it's Tea and Token Thursdays, and we do a show about token things. But there will be a token movie. It's going to be all about token. Yes. And so those are who are saying, what? Token is young? I thought he was an old man. Well, there's something you forgot. What is it? Uh, yeah. Mm, sometimes even the best people we know, sometimes, look, sometimes our favorite actors who are old they were once young and gorgeous. Yep, that's how it, that's how the story goes. You see, the story is uh, it's, it's mainly about Tolkien's life during World War One. Wow, oh. and and what what led him to creating not just the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, but all of Middle Earth. Ah. Is that, does this mean we'll get a Walt Disney movie? You know, a movie about Walt Disney? Well, I do have a fake post, movie poster that has Ryan Gosling as Walt Disney. I'm like, come on. Come on now. Step it up, Disney. Step it up. Yeah. Like, come on. Make a movie about your hero already. Yeah. Um, I mean, this movie is going to be very, very, very significant. And, uh, yeah, you know, Captain Marvel is very significant, too. Not just because, well, we don't know who the good guys and the bad guys are because the Korean Skull have been beating each other up for many, many years. And then there are some good Kree and bad scrolls, and then there are bad scrolls and good Kree. Yeah. Like <laughs> And then of course though, there's also something significant going on in the Sherlock universe. Sherlock universe? That's right. We have two Sherlock's and two Watsons. Like Robert Downey Jr. and Benedict Cumberbatch were Sherlock and and uh, Martin Freeman and Jude Law were both John Watson. See? Yeah. They didn't get all the Chris's, though. Ah! Uh, why, Chris Pine? Why? Why? Why'd you have to play that Steve, that Steve Trevor fellow who got blown up in an airplane? Ah! Uh. Maybe we should do a new role for Hollywood. If a guy is called Steve, Chris, and he plays a guy named Steve, don't let him on an airplane. Don't let him pilot an airplane. You either die young or live long enough to see yourself become an Avenger. <laughs> you know what I think? What else do you think? Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you know that, that one story? That you said, oh, that, that, there was that one meme that said, never trust an elf. Yeah. I mean, that meme has been canceled forever because Evangeline Lily is the only elf character that we know who plays a good guy. Yeah. She plays a, she plays Tario. And, and then, of course, in the Marvel movies, she plays a so she is the good guy 
because she's the good guy. And we, I mean, she, she, oh, you're right. She's the only one who plays a good guy. And because she plays the good guy, well, actually, ah, why would Thanos snap her to death? A beer to him. A <sighs> beer to you, Thanos. We're killing her and her parents. Ah, uh, I would really, 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 really like to punch that punk in the face myself. I mean, there's no need for Captain Marvel to come over and punch my face when we can do it ourselves. Susie? Yeah? We're toys. Oh. But still! I want that Thanos to die! A horrible death! Ah, I don't care who gets rid of him. I don't care if it's Obara saying shoving her spear in his face. I don't want, I don't care if Captain Marvel punches him in the face. I mean, at this point, I would like to see Nebula deliver the one to punch. Wait, 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 wait. There's only, there's, <laughs> of course. Wait, wait, wait. There's also one more person that Thanos made very, very angry. Oh, the Grandmaster. Really? Picture it. <clears throat> Let's say that mm, Valkyrie in the Asgardians land back on Sakaar, and then she runs back saying, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, we don't need your help. And he said, what? He said, there's this awful guy called Thanos, and he was messing with people. And he said, where's Loki? What happened to him? It's like, oh yeah, about that. And then, what? And then he gets so mad, he's like, Topaz, get my melting stick. I have a scar to settle. And then he shows up out of nowhere. And she's, and he starts beating the stuffing out of a saddles. For two and a half freaking hours. Yes! <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I do like this. I do like this one theory where Loki said, "Well, Thanos is like, ah, oh, I have finally did what I need to do. Now I'm gonna live happily on my part." Do, 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 do. Crunch. And then, that's him. That's him. That's the one who tried to kill me. <laughs> he says, "Don't worry, Lolo. I'll take care of him." Grandma says, so, you beat up my little brother, and you killed him, and you snapped the fingers, and half the population of my planet is gone? <laughs> oh, we're not having that. Yes! And then he starts kicking that on the spot. Huh. Like Nebula throwing a few punches. And then Captain Marvel will gladly come along and finish him off. Punch because Thanos needs to die. A horrible death. Huh. Well, okay. Should we still continue singing our uh, Toy Avengers theme song? We should. <clears throat> we are the toys, and we're coming to get you, Thanos. So you better watch out. Because the toy Avengers are coming for you. I will slap you and we'll scratch your eyes out. And we will start. <laughs> we will not stop until you choke to death. Because we are the fine Avengers. Well, guess what? You know what today is? It's Pi Day. And we shall call this... We shall call this... <laughs> As day, come to the Marvel side. We have Captain Marvel. Or even better. <laughs> hey, Thedos, dread it. Well, guess what? Now our, our, our fandom collection is complete. Dread it, Thedos. Run from it. And, uh, hi, you can't run and you can't hide. Captain Marvel still arrives. <clears throat> of course, 
Captain Marvel still arrives. Well, we're going to the nerd side today. And the nerd side has pie. So, and then, so, is it, if it's tea token day, we should call, come to the token side. We have hobbits. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll figure out the title of this episode soon. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, what? Anyway. There is this one theory that I have. Wait, why is, why do we have this story about, so, okay, so we all, look, there's a new movie poster out today on Avengers Endgame, as long as, well, as a new trailer, yeah, and you guys remember, folks, we celebrate other fair adults besides talking, and, ah, uh, I'm still mad about Evangeline Lully getting snapped to death. Ah! Well, don't worry. It's not going to last forever. And besides, Stan Lee promised in that one video that he'd have our heroes up and at them in no time. Yeah. And if and then if Thanos were coming, yeah, and if I were Thanos, I'd be getting out of town. Yeah. He was not happy about that. I mean, even better about this poster is it's all the remaining Avengers together. All the remaining Avengers? Yep, with Iron Man in the, on the top quarter. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Thanos is scared of Iron Man. And he should be. Look, poor Peter Parker died right in front of him. <laughs> Isn't that the saddest part of all? Yeah. And then, of course, and then we have Black Widow has her red hair again. And then we got, well, we got Captain America on the bottom with his shield again. Ah, his, his shield? Yeah, his shield that he had in the first Captain America movie. Which, <laughs> he lost after one dumb thing gone wrong. Right. Oh, yeah, that fight he had with Iron Man. Ah! Why do those guys have to fight? And then, of course, all the way to the far right, we have Okoye with her spear. Wow. With her spear. Yep. She is looking to defend her king. And behind her is Thor <laughs> with his multicolored eyes. Yeah. I'm surprised that I would start on a damage. Yep. And then we have Rocket next to Steve. And then on his shoulder is Nebula. And then we have the return of Hawkeye. Yeah. And then, oh, we finally got Scott out of the quantum realm. Yeah. And then we have War Machine, aka Rhodey. And then, of course, guess who's standing among them? Get excited, folks. It's Captain Marvel. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. That's right, Thanos. You better be looking over your shoulder. Because she's coming for ya! <laughs> it's just like what you said in that one thing you're doing on Instagram. Roses are red, violets are blue. Watch out, Thanos. I'm coming for you. Uh-oh. Cause he done snap somebody she cared about to death! And that was Nick Fury! <clears throat> Which is why? <laughs> why what? Look. It don't matter. I, um, I can't, <laughs> can you believe what, you... see, I'm sorry, but Thanos deserves it. Yeah. I mean, after killing off all the, look, after killing all the stories, I mean, you're, after killing off all the characters that you like, I mean, even Loki, ugh. Why? Why'd you have to kill Loki? <laughs> and, and Spider-Man. And, and uh, the Black Panther and Doctor Strange and the Guardians of the... And, and four out of six members of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And even throwing Gamora off a cliff. Why would you do that? Thanos is gonna get what he deserves. Yeah. He's getting what... 
He's getting what he deserves. Why? Death. Yep, and when Thanos dies, everyone will be happy. And I mean, it doesn't matter what we have. It doesn't, look, it doesn't matter what you are now. What you want to do is get rid of the evil Thanos. The evil Thanos? Because he deserves to die. Yeah. Well, there's only one way we're going to win this fight. Well, he's always the man. Okay, so, <clears throat> here's what we have so far. Why? Captain Marvel has is continually blowing up the box office. So if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, get your butt to the theater and watch it! Because there'll be spoilers. Yeah. And number two, yeah, number two, here's where we get. Okay, number two. Okay, here we go. Number one, 90 songs. Oh, that's a good idea. And then number two, they feature a cat, finally. I am tired of... <laughs> Every uh, raccoons and tree adolescent tree people have it on the fun. I wanted to have fun too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Which really makes me mad because virtually, you know what really makes me mad? It really makes me mad because <sighs> Cats get no respect. When is it going to be our turn? <sighs> no, like, when do we cats get our turn? Yep, and then we finally have... Oh, oh, wait! Spoiler alert! <laughs> Harry Lowe's neck very little to the eye. But the problem is... We just... Not, we know he loses his eye. <clears throat> We're just not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you how he lost to die. What are you talking about? Look. We're just not going to tell you how he lost to die. All right, just not going to tell Look. We're just, we're just not going to tell you. But he did lose an eye. Yeah, but, we just, but it's not how. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is... Okay, so... Here's how we... T see, here... See... Okay, he lost an eye... Three, we have Creep versus Skull, Scrawls, but the problem is, it's not what you think it is. <laughs> it's not what you think. It's not what we think. No, it's not what you think. And... Of course, there's even, you even get the story about Monica Rambeau, who was also a Captain Marvel and was part of the Carol Corps. Oh, oh yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because guess what? <laughs> They're setting her up to be a superhero. Ah, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I 
Now let me tell you something. Isn't it? Yeah, it's so sad that. Listen here. I'll tell you. <laughs> let me tell you something. Why? First, you like the music, and then Captain Mar. We we don't hear the words Captain Marvel all throughout the movie. But then we find out that Marvel, who usually was a man in the comics, is played by a woman. Oh. <laughs> and then third, Carol comes in contact with an Infinity Stone. Oh, an Infinity Stone. <laughs> oh, and then here's the next part. What? Right. I'm pretty sure... That look, Carol Danvers is the hero that we don't want. But she's the hero that everybody needs. Yes, she is the hero everybody needs. <laughs> and of course, and it seems like. She's the only one who's ever able to save us from the evil Thanos. Evil Thanos, you will now die a horrifying death. Because she's going to punch you in the face. In the face. Yep. But guess what? And remember, folks. <laughs> so I'm at the story about her going full on powerful the, the scene where she goes full on powerful is great she goes full on powers yep full on powers and yes we see Rowan and uh, I'm sorry I hate to say this to all you fans of Lee Pace I'm going to say this right now why Ronan is a horrible two timing two faced jerk ah whoa no, that's harsh. Come on. It's a he's a two time and two faced jerk butt. I can't say it's a two timing face. <laughs> I mean, he's a jerk face. And nobody likes you. Bow nobody likes Santa's. Bow <sighs> Well, there's only one thing to do. There's only one way to handle this story. But, yeah. The good news is, we finally get to see how Carol meets the Avengers. And it's at the end of the movie, so stay in your seat, people. Stay in your seats. Yeah, stay in your seats, people. Everybody stay in your seats. Because if you don't, uh, you're gonna miss something. Yeah. Which will be far too bad because it's gonna be good. I know. <laughs> and I can't wait until we say Thanos dies. A HORRIBLE DEATH! Yep, but don't worry. That's for Avengers Endgame. It's Endgame! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanos is gonna die. Well, guess what? What? I'm sorry. There was that one part in the story where... That cat shows up. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, you know how he curses, right? Now, of course, he curses. Of course, he yells out, Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not telling you when he's going to curse. Well, maybe you should wake one of those collage posters which talk about Captain Marvel. Yep, but it's all taken out of context. Yep. I guess one at the end. <laughs> I got the very last thing and bows 
a strange skill which causes a lot of trouble and the Avengers movies. Ah! Mainly the first one. <sighs> now, why would they do that? Meow. Okay, everybody. Now. <sighs> okay, everybody. Now, let's get this straight. Yeah, let's get this straight. It's time for the Avengers to stand up, dust themselves off, and try again. Now that Carol Danvers is in the picture, well, the playing field has been evened out. There will be no more evil sandals after this. Okay, now. It's time to end the show big eyes <laughs> you know oh oh yeah it's time to end the show because <laughs> we're gonna go see it again <laughs> right after Leroy and Elena do their five minute review of the movie okay everybody thank you all for tuning in and hearing us <laughs> talk Captain Marvel so, <clears throat> you know who I am and you know what this is about. So, peace. Everybody stay awesome and we'll see you at the movies. Meow. And if you don't watch the movies, shame on you. Big eyes. You're going to like it. And if you don't like it, well, I'll be to you. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> and meow. Meow.